So I'm Helen White Cooper and I'm from the School of Biosciences in Cardiff University and I'm going to tell you about sperm because sperm they're just fantastic. So my research is all about sperm and how sperm are made and to some extent about how they function but I want to tell you a little bit about how they're made and why it's so interesting. So I'm a girl, I don't make sperm, which means that about 10% of all the genes that I have in my genome I don't even use. I don't turn them on, not in my skin cells, not in my heart cells, not in my muscle cells, not anywhere. A boy, he turns them on, but he turns on those genes exclusively in the testis. And he turns those genes on because 10% of all the genes in the body are to make sperm. So what's special about sperm? Let's think about them. They're small, eggs are big, sperm are small. But men make millions and millions. They make 1,500 sperm cells per heartbeat. 1,500, 3,000, 4,500, 6,000. That's a lot of sperm. Each individual sperm cell is really specialized. You might think a skin cell is specialized, and it is. But what's a sperm got to do? It's got to be made. It's got to leave the animal that made it. It's got to swim on its own, free living. And it's got to find an egg. Now, in humans, that's pretty easy because the guy puts the sperm at least fairly close to an egg, but it's still got to find its way up through all the tubing and it's got to find one little cell. It's got to inject its DNA into that cell and persuade that cell to take that DNA and use it for embryonic development. That's a really specialised thing for a cell to do. You imagine a fish. Fish sperm have to go out into the water and they've got to go and find the eggs in an ocean. That's a pretty crazy thing for a cell to have to do. So what we work on in the lab is how cells in the testis turn on expression of these genes that they need to make a sperm, and they turn them on because sperm are really cool and really special, and I like sperm. <laughs>